What's up, people? What's up? Grand Rising? Should I say Grand Rising? She just wanted me to sing this this morning. Look how beautiful he is. I love my Jesus. You know why? Because he's so grateful. He's a good man. He's a humble man. He's a humanitarian. He is such, you know, he holds your burdens every single day. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? Go to him. Don't go to people. He wants me to sing this every day. And it goes like this. <clears throat> help me, Jesus, help me. <laughs> He's laughing. Hallelujah. Praise the one that set me free. Hallelujah. Death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There is a salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, my living Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hey, guys. He shall protect you. He loves you. And don't you forget that. Thank you, Jesus. Anyways, let's see what we got here this morning. Make it quick because I got to go run. We gotta go run, for real. Busy, 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 man, I tell ya. Ooh, look what I got. They said, use this card, okay. Flipped over already, okay. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition, guys. You must trust your intuition. Because intuition is like God inside you talking to you. You know, when I never, when I always, when I ever ignored my intuition, I've always like, um, I'm sorry, I'm seeing something up there. I'm getting distracted. Um, I've always got messed up when I ignored my intuition, you know? You gotta listen to your intuition. Because your intuition is like God talking to you, inside you. Thoughts create your reality, right? Yep. Thoughts create your reality. If you think negative things, the negative things will happen to you, you know? It's, it's kind of like, I'm going to give you an example. Like, you know, if you say, like, you're going to get sick, you're going to get sick, you're going to get sick, you know. I guess to share a story this morning with you. You know, my, my mom was always fear of getting cancer. I don't know why she had that fear. Who put that fear on her? And then guess what? One morning she woke up and she had cancer. Yep. She had that fear all the time. She would talk about it all the time. And I would be like, why are you talking about cancer, mom? You're not going to get it. Don't worry. But inside she had that fear of getting it and she got it she manifested it to herself you understand what i'm trying to say so thoughts create your reality absolutely you know that's what i'm trying to say people mm -hmm. all right let's see what we got here so Archangel Michael, how you doing, Archangel Michael? Saying I protected you, girl. I'm protecting you. Don't you worry, and I'm not worried. He's just telling me sweet messages. Yeah. Take responsibility for your actions. Yeah. Beautiful card. I like the green in it and the orange. It makes me think of an Indian suit I used to have a long time ago, this color. Yeah. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? Yeah. Take responsibility for your actions, right? If you're good to people, then, you know, that's good, right? If you're bad to people, then, you know, you're going to have to 
uh, sort of the consequences, right? Because karma is a biatch. Oh, sorry, Jesus. I mean, karma is a biatch. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus. He's like, you got a potty mop, girl. Yeah, I know. It's not my fault. Yeah, it is. What? <laughs> Understand your body. Understand your body. Your body, mind, and soul. Yep. I've been told to drink four liters of water every day, and I don't like water. I'm having a hard time drinking water, but I need to. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. And I forgive myself for not listening to my body. I forgive myself for hearing chitter-chatter, hearing outside noise. I forgive myself for not loving myself for such a long time. I do now, though. I forgive myself for accepting people's mess of behaviors. And good thing I didn't say F up behaviors, right? You see, I'm changing too, myself. So, and he's changing me. My, my, my creator is changing me for the best, you know? But yeah, forgive yourself. You got to forgive yourself, then you can forgive others. If you don't forgive yourself, how are you going to forgive others, right? Let them go, I'm hearing right out loud. Let them go. Okay, Jesus, I've done that many times, but they just follow me. He says that he doesn't care. Let them go. Whoever needs to hear that. Give without expectation. Absolutely. This is, oh, another beautiful card. Hmm. I love the green and the orange together. So beautiful, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, it's making me think of an Indian suit I used to have when I was 12 years old. I only had three Indian suits, and this was one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, guys, ex give without expectation, right? When you give something to somebody, don't expect something back, you know? And when you expect something from anybody, you'll get disappointments too, you know? So why do you expect? You know, gi give with a good heart, you, you know what I mean? I do, ex you know, in the past when I used to give people something, I would expect a thank you. You know what I mean? But sometimes you, you can't even get a thank you out of somebody. And it's okay, you know. That I would, I would expect. I would not expect a gift back from them, you know. But how about a thank you? But it's okay because, you know what, that's who they are. And that's who they showed me who they are. And then the next time, I didn't give them because, you know what, I just didn't because... There was no gratitude. I'm talking about gratitude, too. You got to have gratitude, too, you know, and people didn't have the gratitude. So I, I stopped hanging out with the people that didn't have gratitude towards me. But this card is saying expect, give without expectation. It's true. Just give with your heart. Give with your open heart, you know. Yep. Yeah. Have an attitude of gratitude. Ooh, I was just talking about that. You see, have an attitude of gratitude, absolutely. So think about this. This is going to be the last card I'm going to do this morning. Um, to think about this. What are you grateful for? You know? The most thing I'm grateful for is having a roof over my head because I know how it is not to have a roof over my head. I know how it is to be homeless. I know how it is to be without. I know how it is with to be without clothing, without food, without water, without many things, many basic things. I know how it is without to be. And now that I had those things and those things might be simple for you, but if you really think about it, they're not simple. They're big things, guys. Be grateful that you woke up this morning. Be grateful that you have the ability to swallow your food and digest it. That's a big thing, and you might think that's stupid, but I don't care. I'm going to say whatever Spirit's telling me to say. Do you know many of us can't even swallow without throwing up? Do you know that? Exactly. You don't. So be grateful. Be grateful for what you have. Be, be grateful for your body working right. Be grateful for roof over your head. Be grateful that, that you have children around you that, that love you and that adore you and and Treat them like you would treat yourself with love, you know? Yeah, be grateful, you know? Gratefulness. And be grateful to the universe that you are a 
good human being, you are going to have a good day and you are going to love yourself first. It begins with you first and be grateful for who you have in your lives. And I'm just getting this message this morning that many of the times we take things for granted. You know, why do we take things for granted? You know, and when we take things for granted and then when people leave our lives, then we realize, oh man, that was a good one. Why did I let her or he go? Wow. But sometimes it's too late when that happens, you know? So be grateful for the people around you that love you, good people, people in your soul tribe, you know? Be grateful for them and let them even know that I'm grateful for you for being my friend, you know? And I want to be grateful for my subscribers this morning that that watch me. I'm grateful for you guys because if it wasn't for me, if it wasn't for you, I meant to say, I I, I wouldn't open this channel up, you know? And I, I, I have a reading... I try to give a reading to you guys. I can't talk. I try to give a reading to you guys. Try to give a reading every morning before I even go to work is because I know that people are waiting for, for my readings. And it might be maybe one person or two person or five people, but it's somebody still waiting for me to do a reading. And that makes me happy, I must say. So I'm grateful for every one of you. Even my enemies, I'm grateful that watch me and, and th throw, throw bad vibes at me because I just think it's funny because he protects me. This beautiful spirit, this man protects me. He's my all and all. Thank you, Jesus. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Jesus is making me laugh this morning. He's so cute. Anyways, um, yeah, so uh, I don't know why he's making me laugh. He's like telling me funny things in my mind and I can't say that. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I think I got the giggles this morning. Thanks, Jesus. I can hear the angels this morning laughing out really loud. Oh, my God. Angels are so happy. Well, they're always happy, but they're giggling up there. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. So for many of you, you're going to be giggling too. You, you're you going to be having happy moments coming in, into your life. And expect the unexpected. That's what I'm getting. Thanks, guys. Love you.